This video is designed to help you fill in Section AF of your 2016 Annual Information Statement. That's AIS for short. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named The Yellow Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. Now let's begin. Section AF Ancillary Funds is only for ancillary funds. If your charity is not an ancillary fund, this section will not appear when you are completing your AIS. Completing this section of the AIS replaces the requirement to lodge a separate Australian Taxation Office Ancillary Fund Return for 2016. The information provided in this section is not for publication and will be forwarded to the ATO only. For more information on each question in this section, please refer to the Annual Information Statement Guide for 2016 or click on the Help button next to each line. Question 18 will ask you details about all the donations your charity received in the 2016 financial year and the market value of any assets. We have pre-filled the total amount of donations based on the amount you entered at Donations and Bequests in Section D. If this amount is incorrect, you will need to go back and change the amount at Donations and Bequests in Section D. You must enter the amount of total cash received, the total value of shares in publicly listed entities received, the total value of shares in unlisted entities received, and the total value of collectibles, land, buildings and other property received. Please ensure that the total value of donations matches what you declared at Donations and Bequests in Section D. Again, we have pre-filled the market value of assets based on the amount you entered at Total Assets in Section D. If this amount is incorrect, you'll need to go back to Section D and change the amount at Total Assets. The market value of the fund's assets must be estimated in accordance with the ATO's Ancillary Fund Guidelines and any other directions from the ATO. Estimates must be finalised before the fund is required to lodge its AIS. Enter the amount of all cash and term deposits held, listed shares, unlisted shares, loans and the market value of land, buildings and any other assets. The market value of assets is calculated automatically. Please make sure that the total market value of assets matches what you declared at Total Assets in Section D. Question 19 requires you to download and complete the Ancillary Fund Distribution Spreadsheet with details of the distributions your fund made in the 2016 reporting period. Click on the link to download the spreadsheet. On the spreadsheet, you'll need to list the names of the entities to which distributions were made, including their ABNs. You will also need to provide a breakdown of the distributions into the amount of money or the value of property. Once you've completed the spreadsheet, save a copy to your computer and then attach it to your AIS. Choose your file, then click Attach. You will then need to answer four yes or no questions about your charity's entitlement to endorsement. Select yes or no for each one. And this brings us to the end of section AF. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the save button. To move on to the next section of the AIS, click the next page button here. For assistance with the other parts of the AIS, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the AIS, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.